Engineers have developed an incredible kit that can turn Tesla's Cybertruck into a James Bond-style water-going catamaran in a matter of minutes. The Cybercat accessory is the brainchild of US-based materials scientist Anthony Diamond and sees the battery-powered vehicle outrigged with a pair of lowerable pontoons and electric outboard motors. These would give the bizarre-looking craft a top speed of around 25 miles per hour on the water and a total range of up to 115 miles. An advanced model dubbed the Cybercat Foiler also comes with hydrofoils, allowing the Cybertruck to exceed 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour, by rising its body out of the water for improved hydrodynamics. According to the developers, the Cybercat will likely retail for around $22,932, 900 pounds 16, 890, 24, 265, and the foiler for $35,400 to $42,900, pound 26, 109, 31, 641. Quite when you'll be able to attach your Cybercat kit to a Cybertruck however, remains unclear, with the rollout of Tesla's futuristic-looking vehicle already having been pushed back from 2021 to 2022, and now on to 2023. The fact that the Cybercat seems like something that might have been conjured up by Desmond Lulin's Q branch is not entirely a coincidence. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, the design of the Cybertruck itself was in part influenced by the 1976 Lotus Espirit S1 from The Spy Who Loved Me. In the film, the similarly polygonal car is driven by James Bond on a perilous chase across Sardinia, before evading its helicopter-bound pursuers by driving off a jetty and converting into a submarine. Billionaire Mr. Musk even purchased what Nelly the custom submarine that represented the fictional car in the underwater sequences for £550,000 in 2013 saying at the time that he intended to convert it into a functional car, submarine. According to Cybercat creator Mr. Diamond, the ability to take the Cybertruck out onto the water will pay homage to this passion of Mr. Musk's for the iconic Bond car. We believe that with more than 1.3 million Cybertruck reservations, the market potential for Cybercat is immense, Mr. Diamond said. Total gross margins comparable to those generated from the Tesla Model S and X vehicle lines combined are achievable, he added. When the Cybercat and foiler is not in use, the developer said, its parts are designed to be stored within the Cybertruck and can be installed again by a single person in less time than it takes to launch a boat. According to Mr. Diamond, the Cybercat concept, which is patent pending, is not a third-party aftermarket solution. Instead, he added, we intend to work directly with original equipment manufacturers OEMs to bring the concept to market. The firm TSWLM, named after the initials of the 1977 Bond film has said it is now accepting emails to demonstrate market interest and substantially increase the probability. That Cybercat becomes real. Tesla will not be able to put out any new vehicle models in 2022 because of a computer chip shortage, even though the company predicted it would be able to produce 50% more vehicles than it did last year. This will add another delay in the planned rollout of the Cybertruck pickup, which was initially supposed to go on sale last year, according to the Associated Press. CEO Elon Musk also said that the company is not yet working on a $25,000 electric car. We have enough on our plate right now, quite frankly, he said. Tesla is not the only vehicle manufacturer to be affected by the shortage in chips, also called semiconductors, which are widely used in electronic devices and necessary in many vehicles for them to run. While economists predicted that consumer spending would decrease during the pandemic, many consumers started buying computers and video game consoles to entertain themselves while they were confined at home. Auto companies scaled down their production and ordered fewer chips because of the spending predictions then found themselves without enough chips after electronics companies bought them up to meet the demand, according to the Washington Post. Toyota saw a 21% drop in profits for the last three months of 2021, the BBC reported. It also had to lower its annual production target to 8.5 million, cutting 500,000 vehicles. Fellow Japanese manufacturer Honda said Wednesday that its profits dropped 32% in the same quarter, the AP reported. As for Tesla, Musk said the company had to focus its resources on manufacturing and modifying vehicles last year amid the chip shortage and other supply chain problems. Fewer vehicles would be produced this year if the company started building new models, he said, because the focus and resources would have to go to those new vehicles.
He hopes the Cybertruck, described on Tesla's website as having the utility of a truck with sports car performance, will be ready for production next year, the AP reported. Engineering work and factory tooling are in progress for the Cybertruck as well as the Semi and Roadster, he added. The electric vehicle company vastly surpassed its previous record for annual net income last year, making $5.5 billion, compared with $721 million in 2020, according to the AP. There should no longer be doubt about the viability and profitability of electric vehicles, Tesla said in a letter to shareholders. Newsweek reached out to Tesla for comment, but did not hear back before publication. Tesla Cybertruck is, possibly, the most unique-looking vehicle to strike the road for years. It appears like whoever designed the car has a real vendetta against curves. Although, Elon Musk's pet project provides much more than its bizarre angular design. Also, Cybertruck is set to provide all those things for which Tesla is known. That involves the minimalist design, some of the most extended range on the market, and all the high-tech attributes you could ever ask for. So, here's everything you are required to know regarding the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla was initially set to start production on the Cybertruck in late 2021, but then postponed it till sometime late this year. Although, according to some recent reports, it could be delayed to early 2023, something that appears to be supported by Tesla withdrawing the 2022 launch window from Cybertruck's order page. Primary defers were due to issues in the supply chain, which have been impacting the automotive industry in mass. Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla couldn't make sufficient 4,680 battery cells for the Cybertruck, though the unique steel frame was said to need a brand new casting machine to be developed. In the meantime, Tesla has been clear regarding its priorities, claiming that it wouldn't start Cybertruck production till the Texas Gigafactory had started production on new Model YS. Unfortunately, this hasn't happened yet, which means Cybertruck status is still pending. Unfortunately, we do not know about when the Cybertruck launches and what the delays signify for the production schedule of the dual and single motor models. Recently, Tesla removed a heap of Cybertruck details from its website, along with classifications and pricing. Although, we still know what Tesla used to say the truck would cost, which is quite an excellent place to start with. The single motor Cybertruck, the last one anticipated to go into production, is planned to begin at $39,990 $5,000 cheaper than the cheapest Model 3. In the meantime though, the dual motor model, complete with all-wheel drive, was said to price at $49,990. The tri-motor Cybertruck, initially the flagship model, is set to land at $69,990. The quad motor variant pricing price is still unknown, as it never showed up on the Tesla website. That's it for today I hope you enjoyed. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the video, as it will help out the channel a lot make sure you do not forget to turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon so you do not miss the latest news surrounding Elon Musk, SpaceX, Starlink to name a few.